Welcome to yet another another special conversation. As you know, we've been doing these on a regular basis. Um, COVID-19, it's real. Uh, 2020 will forever be known for many, many dark days. But I have to say is while we've had conversations about the issues with COVID-19 and how people are dealing with it, I feel that there's been a lot of silver linings. And our next conversation uh, is going to be about uh, humanity um, and those one of those good feel good one of those feel good stories with a couple of friends uh, we have a Bernie Hassan uh, a radio buddy that I've had on many times talk of real estate used to produce the show and uh, a legend Steve Sandman Dunn uh, man a great wrestler uh, we know him from his exploits as an MMA fighter uh, and they're here to talk a little bit about what they've been doing to help those who are on the front lines. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to this segment. And, and it, who wants to start and t- tell me how this all gets started? Well, uh, I was laying around a couple weeks ago watching the news, and uh, there, was a, there was a story about how the nursing staffs at the fr- on the front line have been overwhelmed in all the local hospitals throughout the country. So I, um, my mother was a retired nurse, and she passed away in January. So I wanted to honor my mother's, you know, memory. So I, I thought I might uh, go deliver some pizzas the next day to Brockton Hospital. So I called Joe Angelo. I ran the idea by him. He liked my idea. I went into Joe's. I bought some pizzas. He gave me a good um, discount. I delivered the pizzas. I thought it would be a one and done type of thing. But I posted a picture of me and Joe. Uh, before before I went out to deliver the pizzas, and Bernie hit me up. Me and Bernie are longtime friends. Bernie hit me up online, asked me if I would if I was interested in donations. Like I said, I thought it'd be a one and done type of deal. Bernie started to hit me up. Then four or five other people hit me up like within an hour. So I made plans the next day to meet everybody for their donations, and one thing led to another. So I'm talking to Bernie. We meet in a parking lot at Sidelines. He gives me, gives me some money towards the, the cause. And he asked if there's anything else he could do for me. And I said, well, look, Bernie, man, every, you're well known in the city. You know a lot more people than I do because you're a lot older. <laughs> 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 but uh, so Bernie asked if there was anything else you could do. I said, well, you can ride shotgun. You might consider here. And um, that's what we're doing. That's pretty much how it happened for me. I had actually, uh, Kevin, uh, when the stay-at-home order went into uh, place, I came home here and have been working almost exclusively my entire company out of my kitchen, right where Steve and I are sitting. And we go in sporadically to the office and we're doing business, but it gave us some time to think. I, I had run a, a live video that got about 1,500 views and people just reaching out because people that were in trouble. So when I saw some of the names and the people in trouble, I reached out to a handful of them and started helping some people. Then I saw Dunn, and we got together in that parking lot. Quite frankly, it's like two and a half weeks now every day of getting this thing going. And really the greatest piece of this, uh, two, two things for me, and I don't know if this person sees something, uh, is the outpouring of generosity from the people that we keep banging on the door for donations because this thing, you know, is, is, is needs to be needs to be funded every day. And uh, then there's the appreciativeness. Like uh, the other day, the scene at the ER, we had a local restaurant, Porticello's, donate dinners, and we went to that ER and we handed those dinners to to a nurse and a security guy, and the nurse started to cry. So the impact of it is is significant. And uh, again, not doing this for any kind of publicity. We've had all our publicity, Steve and I. Uh, if, we, if we're out there doing this now, we're doing this because we need your help. So when you say uh, need help, you're saying this is this is something you're trying to do on a daily basis, as regular as possible. Yep. Started uh, April 1st. Bernie got on board April 2nd, and we haven't missed a day. So we have 
285 pizzas delivered already. We have 150 meals already delivered. And uh, like I said, it's been every day. I can't say it's going to be every day, but it's going to be every day I, I can do it. I'll do it. What is that like? What What is that like to see, to see the uh, to see somebody break down, knowing that they're probably on a twelve hour shift or a sixteen hour shift, and are seeing seeing this thing firsthand. And and what, what is that? How does that make you guys feel when you see someone be so emotional? Let me say this: the first night I did it, April first, I didn't know where to go to deliver the pizza. I walked directly into the emergency room ambulance entrance. Which I, I probably wasn't supposed to do. No, but, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm not supposed to do. Nah. But so I walked in, and it, it literally was like a battlefield. I mean, there was 30, 40 nurses working, and the place was packed. It was overwhelming how busy and the six foot distancing thing that they want us to try to respect. They can't respect that in, in the trenches like that. So after seeing that, I was 100% on board with doing as much as I could. Brennan, you want to weigh in? Uh, you know, every place we've been, whether it's been fire, police, uh, the, the EMTs, we've been to the EMT station, the roots are, the ERs, they have all been overwhelmed. And even the people say, this is a wonderful thing you guys are doing. Let me just say this, to the people who are out there that have all chimed in about how what a great thing this is being out of This takes most of the time daily 30 minutes out of our day, sometimes an hour. It's what everybody else has been doing to help fund this thing, because it's been in a couple of Sending hundreds, a couple of thousands of dollars worth of uh, funding to keep this going. This costs 120 to 150 dollars a day. To do. over 2,000. So, and we funded a little bit of it in the beginning, but the rest of it has all been by donation. Some folks have donated more than once, and, and it's a trying time, by the way. So, my my heart goes out to the people who are in the trenches doing this because you can see the look on their face when we show up every day. But also it goes out to the people that are donating. This is, I mean, what he and I are doing, this is like breaking sticks. We've done tougher things in our lives, but uh, we really appreciate everybody helping us out. We're doing the legwork. Um, the community has really reached out. I mean, like you said, some people have donated more than once. I've had people donate four times already. So we probably had, I don't know, 30 or 40 donors uh, so far. And I have a Venmo account. And it's Steve dash Don dash fifty one. If anybody's interested in donating, um, it's it's a great cause. Me and Bernie are basically doing the legwork. I mean, I came up with the idea. I thought it'd be a one and done. Like I said, uh, it's it's grown into something bigger, and I'm on board hundred percent. And listen, I, I get nothing but time right now. Bernie's, you know, he does a lot of his work from home at this point. So we we put an hour on the road a day, and uh. We're making an impact, man. It feels good. And I think you guys left out, <clears throat> you actually left out something. It, it's not just helping the people in the front. Uh, um, you've given credit to the people who've donated and, and mentioned who it's for, but I think you left something out, and that is the businesses that you're also helping out. All right, I'm going to say I'm gonna say this about that. They're doing way more than we're doing. <laughs> yes, they are. I, to, I told uh, Joe Murray's partner at Tim Ray's last night, He's doing the backbreaking work. We're doing the leg work. I mean, literally, we show up. If we're supposed to be there at 5, we pick the pizzas up. We're back home by 5.30. These guys are uh, making 40, 50 pizzas a night sometimes for us. And then Mike, Mike did the uh, – he cooked 110 meals. Mike Wachowski. 110 meals for Easter last Sunday. This Sunday he's going to make another 80 meals. So um, the people that are helping us are doing all the work. We're the face of it, basically, at this point. But um, with the delivery guys. Yeah. But, you know, going back to the people, it's Joe Murray and his, his, his family and partners at Tin Rays. The Home Cafe has chimed in with us. Joey Angelo. Uh, Dave Lynch. Dave Lynch. Porticello's gave us uh, 30 meals that we showed up on the house uh, to the Brockton ER. Uh, Mike, again, Mike Wotonski, formerly at Porticello's, and he's now the head chef at Sabatino's. Sabatino's is are now going to join and, and uh, help us uh, get some food on the table as well. So yeah, the businesses, they're working for us at a discount rate or, or uh, giving us some free stuff. It's been a overwhelming and wonderful thing. I'd like to add Mike Stone from JJB. Um, he has a bus service out of Stone. He's donated. Um, the auto hospital in Hanover. I mean, I, I have people that I go to when I do the boxing events. 
I go for sponsors. So those are my go-to sponsors. I go to them guys uh, right off the rip. And then after making a couple posts, other people started joining in, man. This is a pretty, it's like, it is a feel-good type of thing. Yeah, I find that, like, people from my office, uh, we do video Zoom meetings, uh, so we have 20, 25 people there. And at the end of it, they're all, boss, great thing you're doing, great thing you're doing. If, if, I, if I could stop you just for a second, could you repeat that? Because your audio cut out for half a second. I'm sorry. Uh, we do Zoom videos like this for uh, sales meetings now, and I have 20, 25 people a week on it. They're all, boss, great job you're doing, and they're behind it. And they, like at Realtors, my, my uh, Brian with Real Estate, a lot of those people have, have donated. And so it's uh, it, people recognize that we're doing this, but I want to make sure, it's, I know Steve feels the same way, that while we may have helped facilitate this, there's no way we could have done this without everybody's help. The businesses and the donations, it would be impossible to it would have been a one and done, yes, which is what I had planned to put my own way up the first time. Same here. I wanted to feel good for myself. I mean, it, it's, I'm working on my karma. Um, I have a long way to go with that, but I'm working on my yeah, karma. And um, if I did one night, I would have felt good about it, but this is way better. Yes. And there's a lot more people involved. And I see, I see this going, I mean, I would think at least another two months solid. So I'm in it every day. We're in it. Do you guys think that this is gonna that this is gonna um, last? Do you think it's gonna last that longer, if not longer? I'd say I say longer. I mean, everybody I tell my uh, my deadline to, I say August, and people are, you know they cringe when they hear that. Um, I think June first is 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 unrealistic, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I've got a business that I've got to focus on running up and, and get going, Kevin, and uh, having these conversations with my broker on every day. Uh, and uh, so the, the the new opening day for the economy is May fourth. We'll see. But when it opens, it's going to be a whole different world. And it, that doesn't stop what's going on for these frontline people. They're going to have to deal with this now for a long time. In line. One last little thing that I don't know, as we come to this, I, I wanted to just make a quick aside mention that interestingly enough, uh, Steve's mom passed away on January twenty third, twenty second. Twenty second. My dad passed away on January twenty fourth. We didn't know this ourselves till last week. My father was a tremendous contributor to this community with his pharmacies and what he did. And he, he taught me how to give back as well as Steve's mom being an ER nurse here. So uh, kind of ironic that that would happen to both of us. And here we are. And my father was a retired fireman and my sister's a Brock and Cop. So basically, you know, I have connections at least where I feel like I owe them um, Donations. And I, I feel the same way. I mean, I've been in a real estate agent in this city 35 years. I've been a musician my whole life in this city with the Munson Light Band and everything else. And I've got nothing but support. And those are the people that I reach back to and that have reached out and helped us out. What's your, what's your method or how do you choose where your donations go that day? How do you choose one day it's going to be the Brockton Hospital or it's going to be the East Side Fire Station? Boss. Well, you know, he, he calls me the, the boss and he's the conciliar. The, um, <laughs> I, first, I first started with the hospitals and then we branched out to the fire department and we branched out a little bit. We've done a couple of um, senior citizen, uh, senior living homes. We did that. Um, we're trying to keep it in Brockton and we're just trying to share the wealth. You know, after being, like I said, after being in the emergency room that night on April 1st, it was crazy and it was overwhelming. So they might go to, uh, say like tomorrow, we're like, well, where do you want to go? I'll go there first. And then the other guys, as you know, later during the week, we'll go to the fire department or police yeah. department. Yeah. But uh, the, the hospital's getting my first attention. But everybody gets something every day. Yes. Okay. Uh, and Steve, again, can you give out um, what your Venmo is? The Venmo account is Steve Dunn, D U N N 51. Any thought of branching out besides food? Any th thought of going besides food? Because I know uh, personal protective equipment is a big thing. Mask. Any thoughts of, of going in that direction or just strictly food? It depends on the donations and the kind of money. Right now, we're, we're going you know, week to week on the donations to supply. Remember, at 100 something dollars a day, yeah. we're doing it every day. It's seven, 800 bucks, pushing 1000 bucks a week. So we don't really have the kind of money to get into PPE, but... Hey, listen, I don't know where this is going to go. Right now, we're doing what we can do. I, I haven't thought about anything but food, but that's a great idea. And I would say this is going to branch out to other things. We talked to the guy from the uh, 
the soup guy there the other yeah. day? Soup man. I, I pulled over to talk to the soup man about other ventures we could do together when this stuff slows down. So um, I'm interested in whatever I can do to help as far as if it's PPE, if it's food, if it's coffee. Or, I'll do whatever it takes. Have you crossed paths with anybody else who's doing something similar? Have you crossed paths with anybody who's doing something similar to what um, you're doing? I, I believe, Steve, you may know me, that you know, the day shifts do get attention from some people dropping off stuff. Uh, I do believe there's been some uh, local people that businesses that have uh, brought gift certificates and stuff, but I don't think there's anybody feeding frontliners every day like we've been doing. But, and again, we're not here to compete with anybody. The more the merrier. You know, I talked with Glenn Hardy yesterday, who owns Hardy's on uh, North Mason Bridgewater. Yes, um, another name. He okay. told me that he was out doing things. Um, you know, like the fire department had contacted me asking us not to go there to go to the hospitals because none of the fire department has tested positive, so they don't want outside unnecessary contact. So they asked me to stop delivering to them. Um, they appreciated the couple times we came by, but uh. Realistically, that's smart. So they asked me kindly to go bring it to other people, the front line people, the hospitals and the EMTs. And they feed themselves pretty well anyhow. So sure. what I mean, but they appreciated it. They really did. Everybody's appreciated. Again, we've been speaking with uh, Steve Dunn and Bernie Hassan, and they're doing uh, um, yeoman's work and trying to um, take care of those who are on the front lines, medical professionals. Um, and uh, up until recently, uh, firefighters and police officers, uh, as 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 needed through this crisis. Uh, anything we haven't mentioned, but as we wrap up, you want to you want to uh, say in closing? Well, I, I'm just thinking again. I I can't uh, thank enough the people who have supported the project with the donations, and again the business. Joe Murray at Ten Rays, uh, the Home Cafe, Joe Angelo, Mike Watomski. Did I miss anybody, buddy? Uh, Porticello's, Mario Sanfilippo. Um, well, very nice to donate 30 meals on the house. Right. Um, yeah. Now, you, you basically cross all the, all the uh, right things. Um, we're not doing it for, for cats on the back. We may not know the rioting. Yeah, I mean, I'm notorious. But uh, <laughs> um, I, the first day, I purposely went online and, and Thank Joe Angelo because I didn't want to even seem like I was the one doing it. You know, me and Joe were we collaborated on it, but I just try to give him the credit because I didn't want uh, I didn't want people thinking I'm doing it to you know get a little uh, FaceTime on, on the internet or something. That's not the case. I'm doing it for my mother. Bernie's got a good heart. Like Bernie said earlier, he had a video before I started. Bernie had a video that I was watching online asking the first five people to contact him that have any problem making the bills, Bernie offered to help him. When I saw that, that clicked in my mind. Then I saw the news article about the, uh, the news story about the frontline workers, and it just it came together. You know, well, we I, a few I, years, I mean, uh, obviously now we know each other even better. I mean, we've been, we're like a married couple now. It's yeah, like every day. He doesn't know how to drive around the city, by the way. Yeah. And, and how to do this. <laughs> But it's been an eye opener, and I have it. It's been an honor to do this with this guy. And whatever notoriety we brought from our from the fight game, from the real estate business, from the music business, if that brings attention to what we're trying to do, then that that's what we're trying to do. Well, and it's also it's also showing that the the good that that is coming out of this, even though it's unprecedented times. This is something we never thought we would see in our lifetimes, and and gentlemen. You know what? Uh, thank you for your work and, and at least adding a silver lining to this this crisis at this particular time. And if there's anything that folks can do, again, Steve, one last time, your Venmo. Uh, the Venmo account is Steve Dash Dunn D U N N Dash Fifty One, and uh, all donations are going directly to the cause. Uh, we'll take if if you have a recommendation of a place you might want us to, to deliver to, we'll open for suggestions. And um, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go until this is slowed down dramatically. So I'm thinking we have 16 days today. I'm thinking at least another 50, 60 days in a row. So I'm in it, Bernie's in it, and the people that are sponsoring us are obviously in it. And Kevin, I appreciate the, uh, 
the little light you're giving us here, shine some light on the cause. And I appreciate it, man. I just the last thing too, if you don't do Venmo or any of that real well, a lot of people just reach out to me on Facebook, Bernie Hassan. I'll get away to you to get get us the money. I've been picking up money. People have been mailing me checks. So don't be shy. Get a hold of me. We're happy to accommodate. Again, Thanks again, Kevin, for doing this. You got it. And again, to bring you information about COVID-19 via segments like this, thank you for checking out this segment.